Hi, this is Mike from Minimal 3D Pay, and today I'm continuing my updates on my unrepaired Ender 3 Max Neo. And so let's go ahead and get started. So I have the directions called up. And if you remember from last time, I have the Manta E3 Easy board configured and installed. And now I'm down to all I need to do is install Clipper and get that all set up. And then I'll call it a day. In order to do this, I'm just going to click on the GitHub repository for the releases for the CB1. Click on that. That brings up the latest release, which is from July 2023. Go down here to Assets. And then I'm going to download the Debian Clipper kernel. I've tried in the past the minimal kernel and installing things myself, but I ran into some issues. So I'm just going to do the Clipper kernel. I'm going to download that and then unzip it, and I'll come back in a second. So I use the Raspberry Pi imager to do my imaging on my CB1. I'm just going to pick the Raspberry Pi 4. It really doesn't matter. Choose OS, and I'm going to do custom. So I'm going to do custom, and then I'll navigate and find my desk image. So I've selected custom, and then here is my image right here. So I'm looking for the .img file. If all you're seeing is the img. XZ that's zipped, so you have to extract it and hit open. And then I'm going to choose my SD card. I'm using a 64 bit SD card. I'm sorry, a 64 gigabit SD card. I'm going to hit next. Would you like to apply OS customization settings? In the case of the CB1, I'm going to hit no. I'm going to hit yes here, and then enter my password. And that's going to put the image on the micro SD. I've completed moving the image onto the SD card. Now I have to edit a file on the SD card. I'm going to open up my file explorer and go over to the SD card. And I'm looking for the system.config. I'm going to open that up in Visual Studio Code. Now, for me, I don't like the default host name of this device. So I'm going to uncomment out this line and I'm going to name this E3 Max Neo. And then I'm going to come down here and type in my Wi Fi name and my Wi Fi password. And so I'll do that off camera. All I need to do is save this file and then I can move over to the printer. So let me pause and I'll be right back. So I've saved the config and I'm going to eject the SD card and head over to the printer. Now the easiest thing for me to do to get this SD card in, it's going to get right down here. I'm just going to tilt this up a little bit and then push the SD card in. And with the SD card in, all I need to do is turn the printer on. And I'm going to give it a minute. Now I've turned it on. I'm having uh, the CR6 has done a check. So I know the printer's receiving power. And I'm going to let this go for a minute and install. And then I should be able to SSH into the printer. So I've given this a minute. Let me SSH into the printer. And I'm going to type in my password. And it should take a minute. And I am now on the CB1. So since I'm on the CB1, I can then make a couple changes here. I want to try running an apt get update. And I can't remember if this works or not. Let me try that again with the sudo. Like I said, I'm not sure this is going to work. I'll give it a shot. I might not be able to update it this way, but it's okay. Then once this is done, I'm going to run an upgrade. So the update's completed. Let me try running an upgrade. Like I said, I'm not sure this will work. And I'm going to hit yes. That way everything gets updated. And I'll give that a minute. So I've Finish the updates, and what I'm going to do is just reboot the system. So I'll run sudo reboot, give it a minute, and then SSH back in. So I've SSH back into the device, and everything's looking good. Now let's run an ls here to see how things are installed. So everything's looking good there. I see my clipper folder. So let's switch back over to the directions and just see what the next step is. We've written this SD, we've done the Wi-Fi, we've logged in. So now 
here is our next step. Rearrange my screen here so we can look at the directions and the terminal at the same time. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is hit CD Clipper and then make menu config. And I wanna follow and set things up exactly as they're listed here on the left-hand side of the screen. So I'll go to the microcontroller, go down to the STM32 and hit the space bar. I'm going to select the processor model and I want STM32G0B1. I want the bootloader set to eight KIB. Clock reference should be eight megahertz. I'm not seeing that option, so I'm not gonna worry about it. On the, the USB, I should be USB communication PA11 and 12. That's correct. I believe I have all the settings as I need them. I'm going to hit Q and then Y. And then I need to run the make command. And this is generating my clipper.bin, which I will use to install clipper on the actual board. As we can see up here on this line, clipper.bin file is generated. So in order to download this, I'm going to use Cyberduck. And let me get that set up and we'll download the clipper.bin file. So I have Cyberduck open. I'm going to hit open connection. I want to type in E3 max neo.local. I'm going to change this from FTP protocol to SFTP. I'm going to type in my username and my password and hit connect. Now I need to go to the clipper folder. Go to out, and here is my clipper.bin. I'm going to download as, and that'll take a minute. I'm going to go to my SD card, and I'm going to download this as firmware.bin. The download's complete. I can close Cyberduck, eject the SD card, and then let's head over to the printer. I'm going to take the SD card, insert it in the slot. So I have that placed in. I'm going to turn the printer off. Now I'm going to turn the printer back on and that should flash the firmware. So I'm giving that a minute to install. And then just to check things, I can check and see if the firmware has been renamed. So let's turn the printer off. And then I'll go over to my computer and just check the file. So I'm looking at the SD card. You'll notice it file's been renamed firmware.car, which means it's been installed on the motherboard of the printer. So now what I'm going to do is log in via either mainsail or fluid, I think mainsail, and we'll take a look and get the printer all configured. Now, as you can see, I've opened up mainsail. I'm getting an error, which is fine right now. And let's go look at the machine. We'll notice there's lots of things that need to be updated here. So let's just run these updates, get the machine totally and completely up to date, and then we'll work on getting everything configured. So I've completed all the updates. So you can see everything installed. Now what I'm gonna do is open up my printer.config. So there that is. And first thing I need to get the MCU correct here. And I can deal with that second. And then we'll also need to get the whole printer config. Let me go over here to the printer config examples. And as you can see, I have the example called up for the Big Tree Tech Mana E3 EZ. I'm just going to click raw here, hit control A, and copy everything. Go over here to my printer.config. I'm going to get rid of this, include generic Big Tree Tech, and then paste in the correct configuration. Now I have lots of changes to make. Big thing I'm going to do is I'm going to move this MCU up to the top. Let me delete this. I want that at the top. So my next step is I need to SSH back into the CB1 and figure out what my serial connection needs to be. So let's do that. So I've SSH back in, following the directions. Here's the command. So I'm just going to do this ls slash dev slash serial. By ID, I'm going to paste it over here, hit enter, and there is my connection string. I'm going to copy that. 
go back over to my printer.config, wait what's here, and then paste in the updated value. And I'll hit save and restart. And let's give this a minute. And I am now connected to my printer. So I'm connected to the printer. And we still have some changes we're going to need to make here, get everything to work correctly. Let's go back over to that printer.config and start looking at the changes. The first thing I'm going to do is let's uncomment these steppers here and we'll uncomment these. We're going to uncomment the extruder one as well. And let's make a change here. Let's change this to Z1. I'm changing the extruder one to stepper underscore Z1. And that'll allow me to have my dual Z. And let's hit save and restart. Make sure that does restart. And then I need to make another change here. Oh, forgot to uncomment this. We move this up so I can just see this compared to Z. I want those together. So I have the step pin, direction pin, enable pin. I need the rotation distance micro steps and I'll just paste that right here and I need to change this to stepper underscore z1 and that's hit save and restart and so again that is restarted now let's go back over to the clipper configs and we're going to make some changes here so I want to look down here and I want to find the Creality Ender 3 Max Neo. So let's look down here. There's the Ender 3 Max. That's good enough. I want to look at this. Look down here. We do have a uh, filament switch. I want to copy this. Let's go back over to my render.config. Roll down. And I want to compare these two. Filament switch sensor. Uncomment this. That should be all right. We want to uncomment out the heater fan. And let's test a little bit more closely. We'll have to see what we need to do with the fan, but that's okay. Let's just change this to fan one. Or I'm sorry, down here to fan two. I think that'll fire the fan up. I need to uncomment that. Let's look at the printer config here. I'm just going to copy this printer config and overwrite printer config here. Pretty much the same. Let's go look at the size of the bed so that's 300 350 that's good on y it's 300 as well and let's look at z z is 340 that's good now i want to copy this end stop here for z let's just go over here and i'm gonna highlight the end stop here paste this in to uncomment these then we're gonna go scroll down here and we're gonna copy all of these lines here we're gonna copy that Go back over to our printer.config, scroll down, and we're looking for our BL touch. Okay, I'm going to hit enter and then paste all this code in. Now, up here, I want to copy the sensor information, or I'm sorry, the pin information, and overwrite the pin information down here. That way, I have the correct stuff for my board. Get rid of this then. Let's uncomment all these lines. I'm just uncommenting this, and these are all locations. This all should be okay. Now, what's interesting, and I think this is an issue with the code here. I actually have this twice. Let me delete that. Tolerances, touch mode true. That should be all right. Let me change the bed mesh here, enable all this, and I'm going to change the probe count to five by five. I just want to look through everything here. I'm going to change the probe offset right now to 10 and I'll update that when I do a probe calibrate. Everything looks all right. I'm going to get rid of this EMC 2130 configuration. I just don't need that. It's taking up space. I'll leave everything else in case I need it later on. Let's hit save and restart. The position end stop is not correct. Let's go look in here. Position end stop needs to be disabled. Let's go over here under Z, position end stop needs to be enabled. And let's copy that code because I like the way they have this documented. So they sign in, hit save and restart again. Let's see if this goes. Position end stop, but I, let's save it. Might help again to disable it. There we go, save and restart. Now, what I'm gonna do is go over and let me move the fan in my case and see if I can 
got this it's fixed. So let me take a quick look at the fan and see how I have it plugged in. Right now for the controller fan, I'm trying this code right here and hoping once I start stepper X, this will kick on. I'm gonna give that a go. Now, let me rearrange my printer and we're gonna try homing and make sure everything works. So I'm over on the printer, I'm gonna hit home all. And I can hear the controller fan is going. I can even feel some air being pushed out, so that's good. Well, everything appears to be running in the correct direction. Well, X or Z is not running in the correct direction. So let's stop. I'll have to make a change. So let's go back over to the printer.config. We'll give it a minute to restart and then fix the problem. So in order to change the directions, let's take a look at this. Go to my machine, printer, and the direction pin, we're going to need to put an exclamation point in front of this. That should change the direction. Let's hit save and restart, and let's home off. So now Z is moving in the correct direction. So we've now home correctly. So that's looking good. So that is installing Clipper on using the Manta E3 Easy board on the Ender 3 Max Neo. I hope you find that helpful. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. Thanks, have a good day. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP and I wanna thank you for joining me today. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below. If you need some additional help, I've also posted some links in the video description. You can set up a 15 minute help session with me and I'm more than happy to sit down with you and see if I can help you out. If you need some additional help, I'm also going to try doing one hour sessions for anybody that's interested. And like I said, I'm testing this stuff out. I wanna thank you again for joining me and I look forward to talking to you again next time. Thanks, have a good day, bye.